In this video, I'll be comparing the ASUS RG Zafras M16 with the M1 Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch. The main reason why I'll be comparing these laptops is because you can get two of them for around the same price. At the time I'm recording this, you can get the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch for around $1300, while the ASUS RG Zafras M16, you can get that up for around $1400. The M16 runs on Windows while the M1 MacBook Pro runs on Apple operating system. So after watching this video, you should be able to decide which laptop is for you. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be provided in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest, then feel free to check it out. On paper, these are the specs for these two amazing laptops. The M16 has an 8-core Intel i7 11th gen processor which has speeds up to 4.6 GHz. Inside the MacBook Pro, it has an Apple M1 chip with 8-core CPU. Both laptop has a RAM of 8GB and 512GB SSD storage. One of the difference between these two laptops is the screen size and the body weight. The M1 screen is 3 inches smaller than the M16 screen. The M16 screen has a size of 16 inch, while the M1 has a size of 13 inch. The M1 has a weight of 3 pounds while the M16 have a weight of 4.19 pounds. The M16 has so many ports compared to the M1. The M16 has an audio jack port, a HDMI port, two USB type A ports and one USB type C port and an Ethernet port, a micro SD card port and also a Thunderbolt port. The M1 has three ports in total which includes two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a headphone jack. Both laptops have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. Some people may argue that the M1 has a nicer keyboard experience because it has a touch bar and a touch ID and some other people might argue that the M16 keyboard is way nicer because it has RGB, touch ID and more keys. The Apple M1 has a GPU of 8 core while the M16 has a NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti laptop GPU. This display on the M1 is a 6K resolution with 60Hz refresh rate and the display on the M16 is a 1920x12000 display which has a refresh rate of 144Hz. In terms of battery life, the M1 has a 20 hour battery life in comparison to the M16 which only gives you around 2 hours of gaming and around 4-5 to five hours in video playback. Those are just specs guys. But here's how to know which one of these laptops is the best one for you. If you're planning to play a lot of games at high performance then the M16 would be the best one for you. The M16 would be best for you if you're looking for a low profile computer for productivity. Don't get me wrong, the more universal laptop here is the M16 because with the M16 you'll be able to be productive and also play your favorite games. This is not to say that the MacBook can't play any games but it's just not known to be good in that gaming department. But one thing Apple is known for is being reliable and efficient. Apple has the best ecosystem out there right now. So if you already have an iPhone, an AirPods, an iMac or an iPad or whatever, this will be best for you because you'll be able to transfer data across each device flawlessly. The best part is that you can get professional repairs done at a local Apple store near you. With the ASUS RG Zafras M16, to transfer data would not be as easy as the MacBook Pro, which would just airdrop files in seconds or sync all your data on iCloud without any third-party applications. Also, if the M16 has a problem, you would more than likely have to send it in for repairs, which may take weeks or months. The M1 would be much easier to troubleshoot because Apple only makes a handful of products that runs on its operating system. The M16 would be much harder to troubleshoot because it is running the Windows operating system. As you guys know, millions of computers out there run the Windows operating system so it would be much harder to know what exactly is going on with your computer. These are the benchmark for the two laptops. To sum things up, both laptops are great laptop for its price. They have their pros and they have their cons. The pros for the M16 is that it can stream and play video games flawlessly and the cons are you might have a hard time repairing this laptop. The pros for the M1 is that it works really well especially if you are already in the Apple ecosystem. 
and you are able to get repairs done as long as you have Apicare. If you want to know more about the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16 then check this video out.